Hello everyone, welcome to Dresden. I arrived. Finally, I uh, took off work a bit earlier and drove here. It took me almost five hours to get here. It's, it's 450 kilometers and I didn't rush. It was fine. Arrived at the hotel at around six, parked outside somewhere. So, and I ate and everything and then get settled in. <laughs> And so and I'm so sad that I still can tell you that tomorrow I will test drive the ID3. Oh my god, this is the whole point. This is the whole reason I was invited. They called me if I want to test drive the car and then they invited me for this event. It's awesome. And I will make a video about the whole thing, a whole, the, the whole telephone, the two... <laughs> Uh, telephone call that, that we that, that, that I got with uh, the event manager of, of Volkswagen it was amazing it will be a great thing and so uh, I will watch a bit of television and then relax and then hopefully fall asleep at some point tomorrow get up very early I would say 5 30 breakfast it, it, then prepare everything breakfast at 6 30 and right after breakfast i'm leaving it's only three kilometers drive or maybe even less from here <coughs> to get to to the glazen and manufacture parking there is for free <laughs> well it's important for in, in, in a big in a big city like Dresden, and i have to be there early so that there's still parking available and at around 8 then all the people till 8 to 8 30 all the people will gather and uh, it will be fun all the presentation all the driving i'm i'm i suspect that we won't that because there are 150 people that we won't drive the id3 too long maybe 10 minutes and it's it's a lot of hassle for 10 minutes driving i know but it's a great thing come on it's fun and I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I'm not that excited so I can't sleep. <laughs> that happens. Okay, see you in the morning. So, <laughs> I'm awake in Dresden. And let's show you the room, just a tiny bit. It's very interesting. It's so big. And I'm surprised by that because it was really cheap. I mean, really okay. And as always, a big room, but the tiniest bathroom ever. I mean, you can't even stand here. And then the shower walls are hitting the toilet and the fan doesn't work. <laughs> I have two windows. And then a beautiful, beautiful view <laughs> on train. It was loud, but it's okay. It's totally fine. It was hot as always. I'm always too hot in hotels. I'm already here, way too early. Uh, and look, there's a concept ID3. Let's go there and look at it. So a few have already arrived, but I was the first uh, nerd. <laughs> Let's look at the car. Beautiful. I want the rims, those rims. 
And that's why it's called Gläserne Manufaktur, Transparent Factory. You can see e-gulfs being built right now. Of course, here you see the ending, the end line. Well, I'm guessing they just check everything. Ooh, they check it in that white thing if everything's okay. Ooh, that's cool. Wow, if anybody recognizes their car, Greatly done. And on the other side, there's a next second end line. Where are the lights? Look, zoom in. Here, another light. They do it again. Ooh, and here one comes. Eagle going over humps. Maybe checking brakes. It's awesome. It's a great idea. I like it. We just been out in an e-golf. We drove a little test with acceleration and braking at the, at the same time, was a, which was fun. Then we did a little course, only a 30 second course. It was of course extremely slow. I'm not good with that. And then we, we went in a different e-golf and we drove uh, uh, testing the, the lane keep assist stuff and, and when it breaks by itself. If you, if you don't touch the, the steering wheel, emergency stop and stuff like this. It was a lot of fun and, and they made a great, a great thing here. Then here we have the e-golfs. And here are the four ID3s that we are allowed to drive in a short time. They all look amazing in black and they're all pre-production. So inside is not like it is in the production car. Uh, it's not, and we're not allowed to film inside to see the stuff because then you see stuff that's not in the in the real car, and then you get mad. Why doesn't it look like this, or what's going on? And so I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not even allowed to bring any camera in there when we drive. I have no idea what the driving will be. Will each person will be alone in the car with an instructor? Uh, it will be fun. It looks awesome. Look at it. And that's Robin TV. <laughs> He's right. Let's look at the car picture. Here we have the interior of the car stripped down. You can see the charging infrastructure. Ooh, the battery or the, no, it's not a battery, it's a converter. So I just drove the first time with the Volkswagen ID3. It was awesome. Um, we just, just for 10 minutes, we did two laps. So drive up there and then do full acceleration to around 120. Then we, we went through some cornering exercise. Then we did the turning circle. Oh my God, <laughs> extremely short. Awesome. Yeah, short turning circle, 9 meter, 20 centimeters, that's nothing, and it feels like that really great. 
and then we did the same thing again. Um, I wasn't allowed to do full acceleration from the standstill because electronics will stop the power. So if we did rolling start, but three kilometers an hour, the power is okay. It's not Tesla feeling. It's it's good. It's similar to the Kona. Uh, I have no idea if there's winter tires on there. I think so. Ooh. <laughs> I have to go away. Yeah, and yeah. Ooh, he gets in lone drive. And yes, and uh, it drives amazingly quiet, comfortable, not not comfortable out of each own level or eye pace, but still comfortable. Uh, seats are great, the, the armrests are amazing. I was sitting in the back when the other guy was driving and it was also amazingly comfortable. There was a lot of fun. Again. That's awesome. <laughs> Look again. He was doing it sporty. What is winter tires? Winter tires. Yes. So now I get to do something I wanted to do at the Frankfurt Motor Show as well, is to get some time with an ID3 by myself. So let's check everything. So like you people asked, yes, it's on an angle and it will rain and snow in there, but come on, it's not a problem. And somebody just mentioned you can put this here so it doesn't dangle around. It's a great idea. You close it. Let's go back seat. Gonna need a light. It's dark. All off. Yeah, the thing has no power. Ooh, but it's warm in here. Oh, it's so dark. The two USB C's. Let's close this. On the passenger side. This is the one with the electric seats. I don't see any memory unless it would be in the software. Armrests. Get on the driver's side. Let's sit in here. The old smell so new. That's nice. It's too bad this thing doesn't have power. I like the armrest. And it, the armrest can stop, there's a button, at any position. This is the lowest and of course all the way up. But you can, oh no, it goes down. It's great, really comfortable driving. I like it. The seats are great. They're not as, the seats are not as compact. Is there light? No, the seat are not as, as hold you in as the e-golf, but I prefer this. It's not, it won't, won't get that hot in the summer. So everything's off in here, it doesn't work. It's nice and quiet. View outside is very nice with the second window on both sides. I need that hook, it doesn't hold by himself and the water is here. Deep, but there would be, won't be, wouldn't be any space for a frunk anyways. A lot of people are complaining there's no frunk. Battery coolant, of course not on. This would be heater, air conditioner, I guess. And here fuse box, 12 volt battery. Really nice. It's too bad this thing doesn't function, so you can see some lights. It's the end, finally. <laughs> Was it 8.30 or something? 
see it here, there's a Limani Fab Tour. I did my interview with Silke, it was amazing, she's a very nice person, and so amazing, we did a little test run before, talked about the questions, so she's a bit prepared, and then afterwards we sat in the car alone, uh, down there is an ID3, you see, we'll see it in the video, we just sat there and and talked about the car, uh, what's good, what's bad, what couldn't be realized, uh, uh, not realized, what couldn't be finalized in the final version and, and other stuff. It was really awesome. Uh, it was a, was a nice day and, and I, I thought about maybe canceling the interview because it's so late and now I have to drive home for four and a half hours. But it was worth it. She was very, very nice and was very informative and I uh, hope we get a bit of a foot into this area and she they invite me again. She, she seemed to like it as well. And yeah, it was a great day. Thanks for being with me. Take care. Have a great day. I can't even say the thing. <laughs> Bye.